Welcome to 2014, question B2. It's an axonometric projection question. So, uh, we've got the image here. It shows the incomplete trimetric projection uh, using axonometric axis method of a model of a basketball backboard. Based on the 3D graphic on the right, the elevation is an end view are also shown in your required positions, so our elevation and our end view. So our board is just appearing as a flat 2D kind of a line our surface, okay, rather than having depth, as we can see here in the, in the image. Uh, draw the axonometric axis X, Y, Z, and the scaling triangle ABC. So we need to draw X, y, or X or Y or Z, and our triangle here, which I've given us measurements for. So, start off with that. I'm going to draw my vertical Y axis. I'm going to measure, as you can see there, 110 degrees. 110 degrees. Out here for my Z. Okay. And as of yet, we've no angle here for the, the between the Z and the X and the Y and the X either. So. Let's go along and find point A and B, 40 and 50 either side of our Y. So I'll just extend this down a little bit and measure 50 and 40. Okay, so where that intersects my Z axis, that gives me point A. So that's point A which I can draw horizontally across to find B. So that's my A, that's my B. And that B contains X. So from our origin out there for X. And lastly, <coughs> our scaling triangle, okay, this side of it, BC, is at 90 degrees Right, 90 degrees to the Z axis. So I can use that knowledge there to, to finish off my scaling triangle and find point C of the scaling triangle. So that's just squares. Okay, so there's C and my scaling triangle. I'm just going to label these so you can see them. We've got our Z axis, our X axis, and stand up here for C. There's my Y. Okay, so that is part A completed. Second part, draw the elevation and end view orientated as shown and complete the trimetric projection. Okay, so let's set up our question. So we've got our position of our uh, our planes here in both views. So line set squares again. I'm going to project out in the same direction as the z-axis. There. Now I need to bisect this line and draw a semicircle. So bisect that line, so an arc, greater than halfway from both sides. I'll bisect it. I can draw my semicircle. So 
that will locate at the right angle which has my planes. Okay, so that's set up on one side, and we'll set up on the opposite side. So, same idea. Bisect the opposite side here. Okay. It's greater than halfway. It's our semicircle. These are handy marks to pick up. Just know how to set up your planes. And then we have our right angle triangle, which is actually an edge view of the planes. Okay, so we have drawn our elevation, sorry, we've to complete the elevation here and the height there of our end elevation. So looking at it, I've got a height of 10 and 40, so 10 and 40. then the center of that arc is located right here and the radius they haven't given to us okay but I do have this point okay up here so that distance is the radius so I'm going to this, put on that point set up to the distance that was 50 high which is 10 plus 40 top back and draw down the sides of the basketball ring or basketball backboard. Okay, and finally we have a width of 40 and this is a center line, we've got the line dash line dash, so that's center line. So it'll be 20 either side for the backboard and the base. So, and draw it. 20 either side. Okay, I'm just going to show my backboard, the square on the backboard. Check that up. So here we have it. Project that up. Also, okay. So that's our backboard. Now, on the opposite side, we've got the ten and forty for our backboard, which we'll mark off. So ten and forty is fifty total. And 40. Okay, but we haven't got the height over here. Okay, what we need to understand is we've got an elevation and an end view or an end elevation, and elevations have heights in common. Okay, so if you imagine I was drawing this here, I'd have my end view or elevation and my end view appearing as a line, the height would be the same. Okay, so I can get the height of this from here, which is the length of that radius. So we used, put it down here, swing an arc. So that is going to be the height 
of my basketball uh, backboard. Okay. So now we need to complete the trimetric projection. So we're gonna, they've given us a partially completed one. We need to project forward, and let's draw what they've given us first of all. So slide and set squares again. Set up with the z-axis, and let's project back. Or from the x-axis. Project back at a point and a point matching up to here. And I'm also just projecting forward where the where the box is going to be. I have that. So I've got the outline here of my base part. Following those points along, matching them up. Okay, that's the height. The back there from okay. Now let's deal with the backboard, so I projected those heights back. Let's project them forward here also from the elevation. Projectors, that's one point. Second point. Okay. So we're getting there now. Okay, now here's the next bit. We have this curve that we want to deal with, okay? Um, what I'll do is I'll break it up on, in this view into six, using 60, 30 to find points. This orientation. So from there, six degrees vertical bracket sixty. So I've got one, two, three, four, five points. Okay, now, like I said, elevations. All right, if I've got a point here, I need to find that corresponding point over here, which will be at the same height. So I'm going to take those heights, I'm going to project them across to this edge. So I can see them, or I suppose uh, measure them using my compass. Okay. So that height I already have, height number two there. There it is. And height three I've actually already projected across. So let's index these. We've got one comma five. Two and four and point three. Okay, and now let's project those back parallel to the x axis. Two and four, three, and then same here from the z axis. So 
so there is my free end curve going to come along there, that path. Okay, so I've got the trimetric projection there completed of my basketball ring. Then finally, no, sorry, finally, draw an axonometric projection of a basketball in contact with the backboard at point P. The radius of the ball is 12. Okay, so let's find point P first of all, here in the elevation. We'll draw a little cross there, so join the diagonals. There's point P. Okay. Now, <coughs> we also need to find point P in the elevation, okay, or the end elevation. Imagine there's a ball going to be in contact here, okay? It, we can't just draw it in that position and not consider over here. If I just draw a circle there, I'm not going to know how far out that I need to travel out from the backboard, okay? We can't have the ball, you know, intersecting the backboard if that's my edge view. We can't have it sitting in it like that. It needs to be, if that's my edge view, it needs to be point of contact found. Okay, so let's find the point P of contact over here. Heights are common between elevation and end elevation. So, found up there, so that's my point P. Okay, uh, the radius of this ball is 12, so it's not here, so the center of the ball is somewhere along that line. We know it's radius 12, so I've set my compass to radius 12, and let's step out here, 12. So there's my ball in contact at point P. Okay, now I'm also going to show that ball over here. We don't think we have to. Yeah, they only want this down here, but I'm just going to show it. So. That's the ball in that view. So let's project the center of the ball to our axonometric axis, or axonometric view, trimetric view even. And put my z axis here, project P, or the center of that. All right, we're not concerned with point P. And we want it, we will. Actually, just for the sake of it, I'll project back point P just to show the point of contact in that final view. So that's my point P. Touching the board. Okay. But following the center of it out, that is the center point of the ball. Right. Um, the ball is based on a sphere. Okay, so spheres appear as circles in all views. Okay, elevation plan. N view and any 3D view appears the same and the radius doesn't change. So compass set to that same radius of 12. And there we have it. Okay, so my ball there in contact with the with the backboard. Okay, so that was our 2014 question and um, complete.